Okay, welcome to today's video everyone. Let A be the set of all complex numbers of the form Z equals X plus IY, such that the Y value is in between minus pi and pi, but not including pi, uh, not including minus pi. So that's the set A. What is the image of A under the mapping of Z maps to E to the Z? So what mappings, what complex mappings really are, is just thinking of functions in terms of complex numbers. So this here is a complex function. So the way I'll think of this is what we're trying to do. We're trying to sketch the function, and this function is a complex valued function. So sketch the function f of z equals e to the z, where z is an element from a. So z can only take the values that come from the set a. And this is our set a here. So when we do these types of mappings, the first thing that we should do is always draw or sketch our domain. And our domain here is going to be A, which is this set. So I've already sketched the set, and this is what it looks like. So as you can see, it's all complex numbers, and the only restriction is that the Y value is in between minus pi and pi, but not including minus pi. And so, as you can see, x can take any value, and the only restriction is the restriction on the y value. So, we have this as our set, and this set here is our domain, the domain of our function, f of z equals e to the z. Now, this is sometimes called the z-plane, because it's the, the plane which shows the values that z can take. Okay, so now we need to work out what kind of values f of z can take. Now, the way we do this is by considering first the modulus of f of z, and then we consider the argument of f of z. So, first of all, let's have a look at the modulus of f of z. So, what is f of z? Well, f of z is e to the z. Okay, and e to the z is e to the x plus i y. Okay? Now, we can break this up into e to the x times e to the i y. And we know that e to the i y is equal to cos plus i sine. Because this is Euler's formula. So we have e to the x times cis y. So cis is just an abbreviation for cos plus i sine. Okay, now let's have a look at the modulus. So the modulus of e to the z is going to be the modulus of this expression here. Now, it's quite clear that the modulus here is going to be e to the power x. Okay, so remember, we have here, should note that z is in a, z is any can take any complex number from A. And we know that in A, there was no restriction on the X value. So X can take all real values. So therefore, here we can say that X is any real number. And so, therefore, this is our modulus. So we can say, if X can take any real number, and the modulus is E to the X, then therefore, the modulus of e to the z is the set of all positive real numbers. So all positive reals. Now, even though 0, this by saying this we're not including 0, we should probably note and say in particular, the modulus of e to the z is non-zero, because of course e to the x can never be equal to zero. Okay, so we've worked out what values the modulus can take. The modulus can take any positive value except zero. Okay, now we need to have a look at the argument. So, let's have a look at the argument of e to the z. So that's going to be equal to the argument of e to the x times cis y. Okay, now clearly the argument of 
this expression here is y. So we have this. The argument of e to the z is equal y. Okay. Now, what can we say from here? Well, back in our question, you should remember that we had the restriction. And, of course, since the z, z is coming from the set A, the restriction on the set A was that minus pi is less than y and is less than or equal to pi. And so since the argument of e to the z is equal to y, we can say that minus pi is less than the argument of e to the z, which is less than or equal to pi. So what does this mean? Well, this here is just saying that e to the z can take any argument. Can take any argument. Okay? Because if we have our complex plane, a little diagram here, it can be anything along this way, because this is from 0 to pi, and it can be anything along here, except minus pi. But of course, minus pi is the same as pi. And so we've already included that. And so therefore, we can take all any argument for e to the z. So let's summarize. e to the z can take, or the modulus of e to the z can take all real values, all positive real values, except 0. Now, I know that 0 isn't positive or negative, but it's just, I guess, it's important to make it clear that you can't include 0. And we have that the argument of e to the z can take any value. Okay, so, if we have that the modulus can take all values except 0, all positive values except 0, and the argument can take any value, then this means that our number e to the z can take any value except for 0. So, when we have our plane here, this here is going to be our f of z plane. We want to sketch the function, or sketch the mapping. It's going to be all points except for 0. So, at the origin we put a little circle to indicate that this is not included, and we shade the entire plane. Okay, so that's one example of a complex, or sketching a complex function, which you might also think of as a complex mapping. Okay, thanks for watching.